Hey Kentucky, welcome back. It's time for a game of fill in the blank and we have help from our inquisitor of the day, Anthony DeLimpo. Thanks for being here, Anthony. What's up first? The Northern Kentucky congressman with reputation as Mr. No made headlines again, again this week for voting against a measure that would make lynching a federal hate crime. Ryan and Adam, this vote from Thomas Massey is... Really bad. Thomas Massey, what are you thinking? Four guys across the country voted no about lynching not being a federal crime and he was one of them. It's named for Emmett Till. Uh, this was stupid, it was divisive, and it was mean. And if that's the reputation you want uh, in Congress, then you've done a great job at earning it, Thomas Massey, but the people of Kentucky deserve better than that. Good way of put. Anthony, what's next? President Trump highlighted the results of a special election in Kentucky this week, which saw a Republican flip Rocky Adkins' vacated House seat. Meanwhile, Democrats held on to a seat in another special election. Guys, these developments are... They're making my head hurt, Adam. <laughs> Help me figure out what in the world is going on So what's right here. going on here is that our rural areas are becoming more Republican. Yes. The ones that used to be represented by Democrats. Yes. And our urban areas are becoming more Democrat. And that's just a pattern that I think is happening all over the South. It's, and it's really uh, beginning to uh, happen with increased... Uh, it's just happening more often it's, in Kentucky. It's made Kentucky flip. It has flipped. It's a strange deal. We have a, you know, Rocky had that seat forever and was beloved. Yes, he was. And it also shows you that popularity doesn't transfer from one politician to the other. Anthony? Lobbyists spent over $2.5 million trying to influence state legislators during the first month of this year's session. With the Kentucky Chamber of Commerce leading the way, this story is... Spending a lot of money, this makes me wonder, where's that money coming from, Adam? It's from the special interest. You know, people are concerned that their government isn't responsive to them. It's because there are 15 lobbyists in Frankfurt for one, every one legislator. And those special interests uh, can't help but crowd out the statewide interest. And this is why people have got to get more involved in politics, whether it's running for office or developing a relationship with your elected official. We've got to hold these folks accountable, and it requires people to do that. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching.